Welcome to the Summit on Midwest Sports Net. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. I'm glad you are along for the ride with me today. And our guest is the new interim athletic director at Southwestern Oklahoma State University, Coach Todd Helton. And Coach, just really quickly, let me say congratulations on the new gig. Well, thank you, Joey. I appreciate that. <laughs> I know that uh, you are stepping in as, well, formerly Todd Thurman, and I have to get all my Todds straight here. I'm sure everybody there on campus there in Weatherford does as well. But Todd Thurman, longtime athletic director, is stepping down. He's moving to a different position in a different state. But you know what? Uh, When I think about Coach Thurman being there, he was the AD for 12 years, coach for a little bit beyond that. I think about his tenure being a long one. Yours just dwarfs his. You've been at Southwestern for more than 30 years. Talk about your time there at uh, at Southwestern. Right. Yeah, I, I tell people I, I know too many secrets here, so they, they can't get <laughs> But uh, no, um, believe it or not, Joey, I, you know, I came here and, and as, a, as a freshman out of high school and, and played football here back in 1986. And then uh, uh, so so I can't even count up those years. But uh Anyway, I, I, I stayed here on the, you know, after I graduated, I became a graduate assistant. And after my graduate assistant was over here, I was, I was fortunate enough to get get uh, hired on the football staff. And, and uh, I think I coached a, a total of 24 years. And uh, then I, uh, when Kelly Litch retired here at Southwestern, I was fortunate enough to take over her position and uh, I've done that for about five to six years. Um, and then, uh, you know, Coach Thurman, who did a wonderful job here at Southwestern, um, got an opportunity. He's, he's now at Metro State in Denver. And uh, so right now I'm, I'm the interim athletic director. And so it's, uh, it's, it's a fun time to be doing that. So with all the, with all the changes and uh, the way the world's been turned upside down due to this, this COVID, but uh, – but I'm excited still. Uh, but you know, right now it's it's not the normal start I thought I would have at, at this job because I'm I'm so focused on on getting back to play and and seeing if that's going to be possible for our student athletes. You know that that is one of the the things I did want to talk to you about. I mean, if you'd ever had any kind of aspirations to to work or at, uh, be an athletic director and and take that lead role. You know, could you have ever foreseen stepping into it in a situation like this? And I'd say the answer almost has to be no. No, no, I, I did not expect to start out this way. But, but sure, when you know, when I started in the administration, you know, I had the aspirations to possibly be an athletic director at one time. And a lot of people told me, you know, you don't want to be that, do you? And, uh, <laughs> you, say, well, you know, I, you know. You're going to make a lot of people upset. You're, you know, I think by coaching for as, as long as I did that uh, you understand that, you know, you don't please everyone and, and you have to, you have to break some bad news to people at times and, and uh, in any leadership role, you have to do that. So, um, so I, I felt like I understood what being an athletic director, you know, entailed as well as, you know, it, it all falls on you. So, so anyway, um, it, it's it's still exciting to get started. I have a great staff here at Southwestern, um, you know, and my assistant athletic directors and my my coaches and and uh, support staff. So so that makes it a lot lot easier for me to step in this interim position. We're speaking now with Todd Helton, the interim athletic director at Southwestern Oklahoma State University, and you know I I appreciate that. You you also talked about an, another. A uh, person who'd been there for a long time in Kelly Litch, and and if if you're going to succeed her in in any position, I know that has to be a big deal as well because uh, she's such a uh, a prominent name there on campus. Uh, in in looking then at the athletic department there at Southwestern, and and I would you know from an outsider's perspective, I'd have to say, my goodness, uh, the 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 department's in good shape. You know, you're stepping into a good situation, albeit the world around us is not giving you that much to work with. But still, uh, even with that in mind, is are there any things that you look at as, as being points of emphasis uh, where you can, you know, see if we can take it a step further? Oh, sure. You know, we've, we've experienced a lot of 
success here, um, you know, um, for for years past. Um, if you look at, you know, our women's basketball program, uh, even all the way back to the days of Kelly Litch, you know, they've been a, a powerhouse in Oklahoma. Our, our women's golf program, uh, you know, was in the national championship last year. So so we've got some some teams that are 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 holding their own and always will. Um, you know, we want to just you know, impact all of our, you know, make all of our sports impactful. Um, we want to be up there competing in, in each sport that we, we sponsor. You know, we have 13 sports that we're sponsoring, 11 in the GAC, and then we have uh, Collegiate Rodeo as well that we, we sponsor. So um, that's another program that has a long history at Southwestern, uh, yeah. a lot of national championships and success. So um obviously you know the big one is is football you know we we want to uh compete i feel like you know being successful in football uh kind of permeates to the rest of your athletic department and so so that's a big uh focus for us you know going into this i understand you know you you talk about football and i, I want to throw this your direction uh, when i when i hear the name todd helton first uh, some people may think of another Todd Helton. You know, there was there was that guy that played for the Rockies for close to 20 years. But I have to tell you, Coach, that when I think of that Todd Helton, and I'm I'm giving my age a little bit. I'm I'm close to your age. When my wife and I first got married, and our first anniversary, we went to watch uh, a football game at the University of Tennessee, and we thought we were going to get to see Todd Helton as the starting quarterback. He didn't get to play. He was injured. Some guy named Peyton Manning got his first start as a freshman. We were actually in Neyland Stadium for that. So that's my tie to Todd Helton. I'm, I'm glad, though, that I've gotten to know you over the years as well. Do you ever, you know, get confused for that when people talk about Todd Helton? Do they, do they drop that other guy's name? Yeah, I've had that a few times, Joey. I have. I think at the airport one time and some guy, uh, some little kid read my name tag on my, my uh, luggage and he was convinced I was, you know, Todd Helton. <laughs> Hockey, so, uh, but I am old enough to remember when, uh, you know, when Peyton Manning stepped in for him, and and that was I remember that era as well. So that's kind of funny. <laughs> we're we're about the same age. That's all right. Have happy by a couple of years though, and I, I I may not let you forget that. But anyway, uh, I appreciate uh, getting to visit with someone of the same era. Well, coach, really quickly then, and I've been talking about this on the DAC Weekly, and I'll, uh, one of the questions I've asked as we're getting things going into this athletic and academic year now in 2020-2021, that the, the Great American Conference is in its 10th year of existence. I know you've been a part uh, of the league throughout its entire time, and I would just ask your take on that. You've seen the GAC grow. Obviously, you were talking about the women's basketball program and, and what it's done, and I think that that's been a program that has helped the Great American Conference, especially in recent years as well. But your take on the on the league in year 10. Oh, I, I think it's been uh, a wonderful experience for us. You know, we came from the, uh, the Lone Star Conference, which – probably a little you know i think we match up better with the the arkansas um schools and their philosophies and and goals and uh so it's so it's been great there to have a and and to the point we're at now where we have you know 12 teams six in arkansas six in oklahoma um kind of that was always the goal and we're there now and and we're starting to make strides in in our conference is making strides at the national level as well. Um, you know, like our women's basketball team, but you know, some of our football teams and our, um, you know, our soccer team and, and uh, various other teams across the country or across the conference. So that's, that's been very encouraging. And, and it's just a, it's been a really good relationship that we've had with the, with the schools and, and it's, it couldn't have dreamed of it working out better to tell you the truth, Joey. So, well, listen, I, I want to say thank you very much for taking time with me today here on the summit. And I, I think that not only is the conference in good hands with uh, administrators like you continuing to rise up and take these positions, but I also think that Southwestern itself is in good hands. So, again, congratulations on, on your new position. Well, thanks, Joey. And, and we appreciate everything that, you know, the exposure you give us and, uh, you know, Thank you. Do a great job. And anyway, and go dogs. <laughs> go dogs.
All right, Todd Helton, the Interim Athletic Director at Southwestern Oklahoma State University in Weatherford. Again, thank you very much for watching today. I want to encourage you to like and share these videos, and please do subscribe to the channel to Midwest Sports Net. Thanks again for watching. I'm Joey McWilliams. God bless you, and have a great day.